the oldest man ever elected to the post. In his acceptance speech, he called for peaceful coexistence with the West. He repeated the pledge that the Soviet Union will seek no military superiority, but neither will it allow itself to be dominated by the United States. Fifteen months ago, Chernyenko was beaten out for the top job by a longtime rival, Yuri Andropov, whose funeral is scheduled for tomorrow. Today, as foreign dignitaries, including Vice President George Bush, arrived for the funeral ceremony, thousands of Russians continued filing past Andropov's beer to pay their respects. Among them was Chernyenko himself. Meanwhile, former National Security Advisor Zygmunt Brzezinski was proposing that President Reagan arrange for a working summit meeting with Chernyenko. Brzezinski was interviewed on NBC's Today program. Konstantin Chernyenko, and although he's 72 years old and has been in public life for decades, we in the West know very little about him. To help us find out more about him, we have invited the New York bureau chief of the Soviet news agency TASS, and we are delighted to welcome Nikolai Sotunsky to Live at Five. It's nice to have you here. Thank you very much. How is Mr. Chernyenko different from or the same as Mr. Andropov. I know when Mr. Brezhnev died, there was speculation at the time that Mr. Chernenko would assume the leadership role and he lost in that power struggle. How are the two leaders different or, or the same? Well, I think uh, they as a people are probably are quite different in a personal sense. Uh, in the terms of uh, politics, of course, uh, both leaders are the heads of the Central Committee of our party, and they, uh, in their policy, are guided by the policy that was uh, outlined by the 26th Convention of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. And in this case, I think that uh, the policy, uh, whether one leader is in the, as the head of the uh, party Central Committee or another, it doesn't make much difference. So you don't see any particular change coming out of the changing of the leadership? Not in terms of politics, sir. You said the two men are different personally. How is Mr. Chernyenko different from Mr. Andropov? We know that Mr. Andropov was head of the KGB, for example. What sort of background does Mr. Chernyenko have? Well, of course, uh, Ms., uh, Mr. Comrade Andropov uh, was uh, one, a part of his uh, uh, work in the office, his public uh, biography was connected with the uh, KGB and uh, the minor part of his uh, activity. As to Comrade Chernyanka, he was associated for many years with the work uh, in the party central committee in uh, very responsible positions in uh, district and Republican Party. Reagan the administration Party. is further accused of rudely interfering with Olympic affairs. The roots of the Niet clearly go back to President Carter's decision to boycott the 1980 Olympics in Moscow because of the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. East-West relations have further worsened since. Moscow not at all happy with President Reagan's recent trip to China. The White House now expresses disappointment and hopes the Russians will reconsider. The president meeting just this afternoon with Olympic officials. President Reagan has supported these games uh, unfailingly since the beginning, and he assured uh, the IOC president today that the American people and the government would do everything to make it good competition and fair competition. And we fought and we, uh, we did our best uh, uh, to preserve the games in Moscow in 1980, and we have to do, to do the same to preserve the games in 1984 in Los Angeles. Many diplomats, it would seem, thought all along the Russians were bluffing. On the other hand, some Soviet experts say they are not surprised, and they believe Moscow has Mr. More... Satonsky, good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, most of the people that we've talked to, and this is not a scientific sample, are convinced that the Russians are mainly saying, you didn't come to ours in 1980, we're not coming to yours in 1984. Why should we believe any differently? Well, you are quite right saying this is no scientific analysis because, uh, you know, in uh, contrary to the position that Carter administration took during uh, the period before the Moscow Olympics, the Soviet Union was ready to participate. The Soviet sports organization was uh, striving to participate. And, uh, of course, um, uh, this is the development of the atmosphere around the uh, Olympics is in Los Angeles that caused first the warning of the Soviet National Olympic Committee that in, uh, in case uh, the measures are not taken in order to guarantee the safety uh, of the Soviet sportsmen and officials participating into, in the Olympics, 
in case uh, the atmosphere for the um, Olympic Charter to be in effect is provided by the organizers of the Olympics, uh, Soviet sportsmen will reconsider its uh, originally desire and intention to participate. Well, now, I, now I, as soon as there was no improvement me, in the atmosphere, this is exactly what happened. Uh, excuse me, are you saying that the door is open to you possibly, to your government, or possibly changing its mind and that they would come here if certain things are done? Did I hear you say that? No, not quite, because uh, first of well, all... What did, I, I, what did I, I hear you I, say? I don't understand. I don't know the... I am not in a position to speak for the Soviet sport officials. In my uh, judgment, now it's too late. What I wanted to say, that the door was really open on oh, the see. Soviet side, but it was shut down, uh, closed uh, by other people. Okay. Well, as an American citizen, I'm disappointed. How do you as a Russian citizen feel about what your government did today, just individually? How well, as an individual, I'm very disappointed because the Olympics uh, is a very major sporting event and uh, the Soviet uh, athletes and the Soviet uh, public uh, is, w w was very much uh, eager to see our athletes to participate in it. But on the other hand, of course, I was very much personally concerned about taking into consideration the statement, the threats, the declarations, the press releases uh, against the Soviet uh, athletes. Uh, during the Olympics, I was very much concerned about the safety of my sportsmen, okay. my Mr. countrymen. All right, Mr. Satunsky, thank you very much for being with us for a brief time here on Channel 7 this afternoon.